Hello everyone, I'm Arbanitas, Library Assistant here at the Seguin Public Library, and today we're going to be doing our origami online, and we're going to be making paper foxes. So let me switch my camera really quick so you can see what we're going to be doing today. So here you can see we have got our little orange foxes. I've also made a white arctic fox, so you can use the same design with uh, different paper colors and different sizes. You can see this one's a little bit bigger than this one. I think this one was made with a 13 centimeter piece of orange paper, and this one was made with a 9 centimeter piece of orange paper. So let me get started here. So here I've got our square piece of paper for our origami and I've already folded it in half from corner to corner once whenever I was measuring. But now I'm going to fold it with the opposite corners corner to corner. I'm going to crease those well. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to fold it in half. And so if you were here for our origami bunny tutorial last time. Some of these steps are going to look fairly familiar because it starts off exactly the same. So there I folded it in half. And now just like with the bunny, I'm going to fold the bottom edge up to meet that middle line. And do the same on the opposite side. So we're dividing this piece of paper into four parts. And now on the other side, I'm just going to fold it in half. And this time we're only going to fold the bottom up and not the top. So it's got that larger section at the top and then two smaller at the bottom. Now we're going to take this corner and make it meet the central point here in our square. We'll crease that well and do the same with the opposite side. So all of these folds are exactly the same as in our bunny video. So if you've made that bunny, you already know how to get this far. So now we're going to take these two sides and fold them into the middle. And just like with the bunny, we're going to lift this part up and lay it flat. And so with the creases that we've made, that should be fairly easy to do. You just stick your finger in that edge and right at that corner, it should lift up and just slowly be able to flatten. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. You just lift it and flatten it there. So now you'll remember in our bunny tutorial, these were used as the ears, and we started with those up. This time we are starting with the nose end up. And we're going to ch change the shape of our fox's face. So we're going to flip it over and do the same step we did with the bunny, but this time instead of doing it with the ears, we're doing it with the nose. So we're going to take these edges in and make them meet that central line. So this will give our fox his narrow snout. And we'll do the same on the other side, bringing that edge in. And make sure it meets up in the middle. And if you flip it over, you'll see we've still got the ears there. They should be able to open up and lift. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these and open them up. You don't want to smoosh them flat just yet because what we're going to do here is actually with this little triangle, you're going to run your finger along the inside of that. And you'll see it starts to kind of flatten out here into this triangle shape. So I'm going to flatten that down so that this edge meets that edge on the bottom of that ear. We're going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to run my fingers along the inside of this until it starts to kind of flatten down and make sure that those edges meet. Increase that well. So now you can see we've got this triangular shape for our face, for our head. And now we're going to take this top edge and get it to meet along this bottom edge of the ear. And when we crease it, you only want to crease as far as the central line of the face. You don't want to go all the way across, or that will give you some kind of odd looking dents in your fox's face. So make that edge meet up with that bottom edge of the ear. And just stop it right there at that line. And we're going to do the exact same on the opposite, making this edge meet the bottom, increasing it up to that central line of the fox's face. And what this lets us do is create kind of three peaks, the nose and the two ears. And we should be able to fold this back here. And that's the basis for our fox's head. 
So now to make his ears come up, because you'll see this, our little fox has little kind of cupped ears, kind of alert, ready to hear whatever animals are coming. To do that, we're going to come in here and lift this pocket open. You might need to open this up here to make it a bit easier to fold over. You should be able to fold this up and over. Do the same with the other one. You go up and over. They're kind of just arching over our fox's face. And make sure that these two flaps are just kind of tucked in and that'll give you the overall shape of our fox's head. You'll just pinch those tight, increase them. If you want, you can draw your fox's face on. I'm actually gonna wait till I make the tail for this one. But so to make the tail, you're going to fold this up. Now, just like with the bunny, you can kind of judge how your fox is gonna sit based off of this bottom line. That's where his feet are going to be. So I want him to sit up straight. So I'm just making it straight across. You can angle it to change the look of your fox, to change how he's standing. But so I'm doing mine straight up. And now just like with the bunny, we're going to flip that tail in using that crease as your guideline. So you can see it's still at the exact same angle it was before, now it's just inside of the, uh, the fox's back. And to make that tail pointed, what we're going to do is you can either fold it to this side or fold it to that side. All you want to do is crease it right at this angle, right in the middle of that, that kind of squared off corner. So it creates a little peak in the back of the fox. Now we can draw a face on our fox, taking a marker. We'll give him a couple of little eyes. And a little black nose. We can draw on his tail. I've got a white gel pen. You don't have to do this, but if you have it, you can add it on. You could add it with some paint, however you like. You'd glue on a little piece of white paper if you want to add to it. But there's his little white tail tip. And I'm just going to add a little outline to it so it shows up. And there we have our little paper fox. So thanks for joining us today. Keep an eye out. We've got lots of programs coming up for our summer reading program. So you'll want to keep an eye on our website. And uh, we'll be posting lots more things and more calendars to come. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.